Fair enough. Penhill on the inside with three wise men right alongside, closely followed by Oathkeeper on the outside, the three in front of Gunnar McGregor is in fourth place, and then Billy's Hope just towards their outside, followed by Derulo. As they begin now to make the descent and begin the good run now down towards the second, an Oathkeeper moves up on the outside of three wise men. They're being followed by Penhill on the inside, Gunnar McGregor improving on the outer. This quartet in front of Derulo, who's just on the inside of Billy's Hope, and they're followed by Hudson's Bay, Master of Verse on the inside, and they're followed by Golan Island with its Pandorama on the inside, just the back marker. On the descent now to take them for flight number two, Oathkeeper and Mark Walsh disputing with three wise men, Andrew Lynch on the inside. They're followed by Penhill and Gunnar McGregor as they come now towards the second. An Oathkeeper on the outside, on the inside is three wise men. They're followed by Gunnar McGregor, Derillo has improved, Penhill has just lost a place or two, Billy's Hope just behind them in sixth, and they're followed by Hudson's Bay in company with Master of Verse, and the final pair are Golden Diamond and its Pandorama. So they come to the flight now that will take them up in front of the stands, three wise men on the inside of Oath Keeper, being followed by Gunnar McGregor in third, and on the outside Billy's Hope taking closer order. Derillo is on the inside, and they're followed by Penn Hill in company with Master of Verse. Hudson's Bay is next. Bit of a break then to Golden Diamond, who's racing alongside its Pandorama. So they go to the flight past the stands, and it's three wise men and Andrew Lynch on the inside of Oathkeeper and Mark Walsh. Brerulo is in third place on the inside for Sean Flanagan, and they're closely followed into the turn by Gunnar McGregor and Brian Hayes. This quartet two lengths in front of Billy's Hope and Penn Hill. Hudson's Bay is followed then by Master of Verse. Bit of a break then to the other pair, Golden Diamond in company with its Pandorama. So they're past the halfway point and face up now towards the fifth. Three wise men and Oath Keeper. In third place is Derulo, mistake there by three wise men. On the outside is Oath Keeper, followed in third place by Derulo. Gunnar McGregor and Billy's Hope come next with Hudson's Bay and Penn Hill. Master of Verse next as they go to the next flight right over on the far side. Three wise men better at that, almost on terms now with Oath Keeper, the two of these. Matching strides as they go now to the last flight, the far side, the, three, the finish. Oath Keeper, three wise men, followed by Billy's Hope, Gunnar McGregor, Derulo. Hudson's Bay has improved. Master of Verse next. Penn Hill has dropped out. Heading to the turn before making the descent now with a good long run to the second last and Oath Keeper on the outside of Three Wise Men. Billy's Hope is third and they're being followed by Gunnar McGregor with Derulo and right on their heels is Master of Verse and these six have gone on five lengths in front of Hudson's Bay as down the hill they come. Oath Keeper is the leader. Three Wise Men on the inside. Billy's Hope is improving. They're being followed by Gunnar McGregor, Derulo and then Master of Verse and it's Oath Keeper taking them on towards the second last from Billy's Hope. Three Wise Men and they're followed by Master of Verse jumping the second last Oath Keeper with Billy's Hope on the outside three wise men followed by Master of Verse and Derulo off the turn for the final flight Oath Keeper in the lead now from Billy's Hope they're followed by Master of Verse going round the outside of Derulo as they come now to the final flight Oath Keeper in the lead at the last didn't meet it all that well they're coming at him on the outside Master of Verse Penn Hill is coming right back at them on the inside they're inside the last 200 now, and Master of Verse with Penn Hill putting in a tremendous late bid on the inside, and Penn Hill is going to get up, having come back from nowhere to beat Master of Verse and Oath Keeper, and they are clear of Derrida, who sport Billy's Hope and Three Wise Men. Well, he was a bitter failure at Killarney last time, an excuse emerged with the broken blood vessel, and Penn Hill has bounced back here to win our opener on day two of the festival under Ruby Walsh for Willie Mullins. Willie taking the opener for the second day running. He's got the 1-2 as well. Master of Verse finishing second. So that's two winners and two seconds for him on the board now. And as he alluded to yesterday, if he's going to be champion trainer this week, he'll probably need a few seconds as well to go with the winners with the points-based system that's used here. Oathkeeper looked to be on his way to victory coming to the last, but he got that all wrong, lost all momentum. And all of a sudden, they were swarming around him. Master of Verse quickly took over and looked as though he was going to give Brian Cooper a winner on his return to the action but Penn Hill who obviously was a useful flat horse had that change of gear in the closing stages to 
nip up the inside and seize the initiative close. So I'm disappointing run from three wise men who made a mistake over on the far side and then just seemed to get squeezed out on the inside of Oath Keeper there. Mark Walsh just seemed to take the initiative on Oath Keeper and three wise men was squeezed out on the inside and ultimately has finished well out of the placings. But Penhill obviously whatever was ailing him last time not an issue today delivered from off the pace and a good winner of our opener just look how far back he's come from as well guys well I couldn't believe it was the same horse because I was busy saying well look at Penn Hill another dismal effort by him but he just I, he, where he came from look he, he's got no chance it can't be the same horse is it? it's a rare turn of footy show isn't it he completely walks through the last as well it's I mean, Ruby won uh, the opening race last night on a classy thought that was six to one on. Just watch him at the last year, Penhill. This is what makes Ruby go on the inside. The moment Completely I said that the favourite had jumped well, he made, makes his one. You were and saying mistake. all the way round that I won that. Yeah. Um, the other, uh, t t t uh, the Giggins down horse, he's, he's been ridden a lot more patiently this time, and that's really worked out in his favour. These are talented horses, and Long Dog won this last year uh, for Willie Mullins, didn't he? He went on to win the Royal Bond, and the ill fated Long Dog, I think, now. Master Reverse has run a blinder and there's been nice racing fences over him. Oath Keeper's been a little bit unlucky because he's duelled up front uh, with three wise men who I think Andrew Lynch got a little bit he's caught no, out on the inside, didn't he? He's worth every penny of the 230 grand that Tony Bloom... <laughs> he's a very talented horse. It's all about keeping him sound yeah. now and getting him settled. But Ruby there, look, that's...